So once you've cited your epidural and loaded the epidural, it's really important to perform what we like to call a sign-out process with the midwife in the room. What this involves is a, a sensory level check together, a motor block check as well, which you will document and should correspond to around the 30 minute mark after the epidural has been inserted. We also want you to provide instructions to the midwife around when to start the epidural at what dermatome level, what you'd like to be called about or any special requests, as well as remind them of the mandatory observations that must occur um, as part of epidural checks for safety purposes. These include hourly sensory assessments and motor assessments, as well as hemodynamic monitoring. In order to perform a sensory check, it is helpful to do it together so that you know what you're doing. And it can be an opportunity to coach our midwifery colleagues around an efficient sensory assessment. The way that I like to do it is to ask our patient, now, do you feel this freezing cold ice? Yes, yeah, so I'd like you to remember how freezing cold that is. I'm going to drag this up both sides of your body. I'd like you to tell me where it's just as freezing cold as up here, okay? So up here, up here, assuming we're on skin. There, okay, that's a little bit high. Yep. Around here? Yep. So T6 on both sides. So I would instruct my midwife, given we're aiming for around T8 to T10, to not provide the epidural button until the sensory level had dropped to T8. I'd also like to check that your legs are moving normally as they should be after an epidural, Davina. Can you lift your legs up off of the bed? Oh, wow, good, excellent. That's a bromage of zero. Have a look at this picture here, which explains the bromage scoring system that we use here at Western Health.